In this podcast, we're going to be hearing from Sarah Lord, Managing Director of Killick Charter Financial Planners, both a chartered and certified financial planner, regarding the benefits of utilising your ISA allowance on an annual basis. Market research suggests that while the benefits can be quite significant, millions of people continue to pay tax unnecessarily on their savings by failing to make use of their ISA allowance. Sarah, what is an ISA? And how do the annual allowances work and benefit an investor? An ISA is a personal tax wrapper, essentially a tax shelter, allowing your investments to grow in a tax-free environment. You can use your ISAs to save cash or invest in stocks and shares. The maximum you can put into an ISA in the current tax year is 11,280, of which up to 5,640 can be saved in cash, or alternatively you can save the entire 11,280 into a stocks and shares ISA. Therefore, a married couple can pay up to 22560 in the current tax year into Stocks and Shares ISA and benefit from tax-free growth. The attractiveness of ISA stems from the fact that you don't pay any tax on the interest or dividends you receive from an ISA. And any profits from the investments are free of capital gains tax. But this does mean that you can't use losses on an ISA investment to reduce capital gains tax on profits from investments not held in an ISA wrapper. However, it should be noted that the interest received on any uninvested cash in a stocks and shares ISA is subject to a 20% tax charge. Also, equities carry a standard 10% tax credit, which it's not possible to reclaim within an ISA. So why are ISAs such a good investment choice? Investing tax efficiently through an ISA exacerbates the effect of compound interest on the investment. The reason ISAs emphasise the effect of compound interest is that they minimise the dampening effect of the taxation on those returns. To illustrate, let's consider an investment account outside of an ISA wrapper which is fully taxable for a high rate taxpayer, i.e. a 40% taxpayer. It will be subject to the following rates of tax, capital gains tax at 28%, dividends at 32.5%, interest at 40%. Capital gains and income are taxable according to the sources of income, dividends, interest or rental income for commercial property. The effective rate of tax is a combination of these different taxes, but it's not unreasonable to assume, say, an effective rate of 30%. The tax dampens the returns, so a 7% return will be dampened to a 4.9% net return. Over the time, compound difference can have a really big impact. Can you give us an example of this negative impact over the longer term? Certainly. Let's look at this chart, which demonstrates the impact of tax charges on an initial investment of 100000 invested over 20 years. The column on the right represents if the investment had not been made through an ISA, but was just held in a fund, whereas the column on the left is assuming the same investment was made into the same fund, but instead was held within an ISA wrapper and therefore benefited from tax-free growth. The difference in the final value at the end of a 20-year period is quite significant. Assuming an average rate of tax for capital gains tax and income tax of 30% on the fund and a gross 7% per annum compound return, the fund outside of the ISA would be worth £260,321, but held within the ISA wrapper it would be worth 386968 a whole 125000 more. So how do investors maximise their annual tax benefits? To maximise the tax benefits at Killick & Co, we suggest that an ISA should ideally be used for tax-free capital growth whilst you're still saving. Then as you approach retirement, you can move the assets into a fixed income securities upon which tax deducted at source can be reclaimed. Then when you do retire, this can be distributed to you as an income entirely tax-free. Is there anything else we should be aware of? 
It's always prudent to note that a tax treatment of income can change with future legislation. Keep an eye on the financial news or if you work with a specialist advisor such as Killick & Co, they should be in regular communication with you to ensure you're up to date and any changes are factored into your planning. Significantly, with an ISA, unlike pensions, there's no restriction on when you can access the funds you have saved through an ISA. Therefore, you can access the full cash value at any time. We believe ISAs play a very important part in an overall wealth management strategy. Sarah has taken us through the basics about an ISA, what you can invest, and the tax benefits, looking particularly at the effect of compound interest and how to maximise your tax benefits. If you'd like to know more about ISAs, please speak to your broker, or if you're new to Killick & Co, contact us on the details to follow.